What's up guys, it's Captain Ross here at East Sound Aquatics and I'm here with the Cobalt Aquatics Neotherm Heater. Now this is definitely one of the most popular heaters in the hobby, especially with the saltwater community. I guarantee you that about 80% of the videos you watch on YouTube with a saltwater tank has one of these guys in their sump or somewhere in their tank. I know I've been getting into saltwater uh, research lately if you've seen one of my latest videos and pretty much every video I see has one of these in their tank or in their sump or whatever. It's heating their tank. And if you're wondering why that is, you're about to figure that out, so stay tuned for the rest of the video. So two big things you want to look for in a heater if you want a heater for your tank is you want it to be precise and you want it to be reliable. And those are two things that my own using of this heater and other people's use of this heater can guarantee you with the Cobalt Neotherm. So the first thing is precise. Now this heater will tell you the temperature within half a degree. And I've noticed that in my own use, as well as if you look any other review up. My review is as good as anyone else's. Go ahead and check out others if you don't agree with what I'm saying. But within half a degree, which is pretty good, especially in the saltwater hobby, you don't want something that you don't know if it's even three degree difference can cause a big problem when you're keeping delicate fish and even sometimes with discus depending on the breed in the freshwater hobby you need it to be quite precise and another thing is a lot of times heaters will go ahead and overheat your tank and I've witnessed this myself with an old like off-brand heater I bought because it was cheap and ended up killing a bunch of guppies I was breeding because it went up to about 98 degrees and that's one thing you won't have to worry about with this heater because since it is a digital heater um, as opposed to how the other ones are run, most other ones, since it's a digital one, if it were to die, it shuts itself off before it overheats. That's how it's programmed. So if this one starts to die, it'll die in the off position as opposed to the on position. And, is, and when my guppies, it was actually in this tank over here to my right a long time ago, when uh, it skyrocketed in 98, it's because the heater died, and instead of dying in the off position like these do, or are guaranteed to do by the company, um, it died in the on position, just kept heating and heating and heating the tank, and it caused a lot of problems. So another great thing that the Cobalt Neotherm heater has to offer is the way you set the temperature, or set the temperature of the tank. Now this seems like a minuscule thing, but when you compare it to other heaters, like this high door heater right here, which I'm going to kind of show you, um, it's a lot better. The Neotherm just is so much nicer. It gives you a better user experience for sure, and it's a lot more reliable, and you can actually see what's going on as the temperature goes up. And I'll show you that in a moment. But real quick, if you look right here, if I want to set this one, I have to match this mark right here to the temperature here. And this is actually one of the better heaters from matching it. So I have to match that tick mark exactly right. And I have no proof that the temperature is what it says here. Like, in order to find that out, I have to like lean over the tank. And since I, since I have tops, I have to pick out the heater, make sure I haven't bumped it. Because look, one little bump, it turns. If I were to like bump it on the side, it turns. You're gonna, it's gonna turn around and you don't wanna have the wrong temperature for sure. The nice thing about the cobalt heater, let me put this down, if you look right here, so what you're seeing right now, and I'm going to switch this around, let's say I want the temperature at 78, so right here, this is what the temperature is supposed to be, it has a green light, and this is what it currently is, at 72, or 74 now, or around, I guess it's 73 because it's going in between, so the degree, it's at 73 degrees right now. And it's showing that it needs to get to 78. So you can see as it moves along up this little circle, and it can go all the way up to 96, which I don't know why you'd want it at 96, but it can go all the way up there or down to 66 for like goldfish. You can see as it moves on up, and if I want to set it, instead of having that little knob, I can go up by twos. All I have to do is touch this button. So I can lean into the tank, I can reach in and just touch this button. I can see as it turns. I don't have to like fit my head in there and take it out of the tank or anything, just go with it right here. And I normally have this on a 10 gallon, not on the 30, this is just so you can see it better. And it's easier to do with the thumb. So you just slide this around and each time you 
you move, it's going to make that big spinny thing, little Rambo thing. It's showing you that it calibrated and everything. And what you're seeing right now is a fast blinking. That's showing you that it's overheated. So I want it at 72. That's what I just have it marked at. And it says 74. So that's why it's blinking really fast. So it's very, it's a good user experience. If it's at the right temperature, it's going to stay a solid color. So, and you can read up on this if you buy one. And it's just a really good way to set up your tank. Now I like them at 78. So for now, we'll just go ahead and do that. So we see it's blinking that slow pace. That means it's not quite there yet. And then you can watch as it goes in. So in a little bit, I can come back in. It might be at 76 or at 78. So another thing that this awesome heater boasts is that it is practically indestructible and shatterproof. So a lot of heaters, like this high door heater, if I were to drop this on a wood or tile flooring, which a lot of you may have in your fish room, it is most likely going to shatter and cause a huge problem and this will not be usable again. However, if I were to drop this on the ground, I'm going to pick it up and it's going to be perfectly fine. You can check out Bulk Reef Supply, BRS TV. They have awesome reviews on everything. If they say something's reliable, it's going to be reliable. They actually call the Cobalt Aquatics Neotherm Heater the most reliable heater and best one to use in a saltwater or reef tank because they don't. They do those primarily instead of freshwater, but it works for freshwater too. I use it in freshwater. It's awesome. So if they say it's shatterproof, which I saw their videos, they hit it with hammers and everything. They could not get it to break. Then it's shatterproof. So if you like what you've heard in this video so far, you can pick one of these up at cobaltaquatics.com for $63. And if that sounds like too much to you, I have a link in the description to their website as well as a Cobalt 25 discount, which gets you 25% off any total purchase at Cobalt. So if you like any of my other reviews, I only have one other posted right now, but after this video has been posted, I'm going to be adding more. You can buy as much stuff as you want, put that 25% discount on, definitely get your money's worth for sure. And yeah, go ahead and check that out. Um, I want to let you know I will be giving away one of these. Cobalt is sponsoring me and is going to be giving away one of these in an upcoming contest that will be out hopefully this winter coming up. I keep saying it's coming up soon. It will be soon. Just keep your eye out. And thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.